हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई मैनाक फ्रॉम सिविल सेंटर एंड वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू बैक टू आर वीडियो टू टू सीरीज ऑन स्केचअप सो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो विल एड स्लैब एट आवर ग्राउंड फ्लोर लेवल इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैड कंप्लीटेड आवर एडिशन ऑफ वॉल्स सो इफ यू हैवेंट सीन दोज वीडियोज येट प्लीज गो टू आर प्ले लिस्ट एंड वॉच दोज सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड So first of all I'll go to my front elevation I can see that there are some designs in the elevation we'll go for that later first of all we'll complete our core house part for completing our core house part we need to add slab here so I have the terrace plan and using that I can copy these elements for my slab so I'll just use the select tool and then select one line and then I'll press my control button and then select this uh, this one i don't want to select so so i'll select the exterior lines of my terrace plan for making my slab i'll select this and using control button i'll select again select this and this as you can see that using the control button i have selected all the exterior lines of my terrace plan now what i'll do is i'll copy this for copying this i'll select the move tool and then i'll press control When you press control you can see that one additional plus symbol comes here so i'll just simply click on here and then I'll copy it to here so after copying it to here i'll just extrude it the thickness of my slab is 4 inches or 100 mm so firstly using the line tool i'll just create a line here so my element has been created now using the push and pull tool i'll give it a thickness of 100 mm or 4 inches let me give a thickness of 4 inches and then press enter so my slab element has been created now i will go to the select tool and select this entire slab and then i'll right click on it and then i'll click make component and then i'll name the component slab 1 and then create i have done this because i want to keep my slab as one entity and if i want to change this i can simply double click and do some changes in this model So I'll just select the slab again and select this component and and then I'll click on move and then I'll select this point and just snap it on my model which I have created I'll just snap it here now let me check it I'll use the select tool and check my and check my slab see I have misplaced my slab so I can move it I'll just select this and I'll select the move button and then I'll select here and then I'll place it here. So I'll rotate this. As you can see that we have placed the slab properly. So I have placed the slab for my ground floor core house. So that's all for this video. In the upcoming video, we'll see how to proceed for my first floor and then move forward towards completion of my G plus one three D model. So friends please give the feedback of this video in the comment section and don't forget to like share and subscribe with your friends bye see you in the next video